Hey y'all, I'm going to show you how to build this uh, SCR controller. You can heat up a heating element and heat up a, uh, your pot. Um, if you have a tri-clamp on the side, uh, you can uh, throw a heating element in there. This is a keg I got from Moonshine Shua, by the way. Thanks, Shua. Appreciate it. Um, it has two ports here. Now, you could run uh, 120 or 240. This is a 120 box. This is a plug into any wall. This is a 2,000 watt element. Anything bigger, you want to go with 240. Um, you can get these elements super cheap. That's another video. These elements are, are awesome. You get them super cheap. You buy this little fitting, it screws right in there. You want to use some uh, Teflon tape if you're going to run, but just, just showing you. You know, boom, wire you up a plug, plug into your box, plug your box in your wall, control it with one knob. That's it. It's that easy. Today I'm going to show you how to build this. I got the idea from this from, uh, from Texas Papa. Texas Papa made one of these. I was like, hey, man, I'm going to make one. I'll put a parts description in the, uh, our parts list in the description with links to all the parts. This thing's super cheap, super easy. Thinking, hell, man, I might start selling these on my website. I don't know. Keep an eye out. And uh, if you don't want to build one yourself, I'll build one for you. But uh, thanks, Shua. Thanks, Texas Papa. This is how to build it. About to build a SCR controller out of my ammo can. I have a parts list. I also sell these on my website. Um, this is a computer cord for a computer and we just cut one end off of it. You could use any type of cord. You could go buy a cord, but we have these laying around. Why not use them? Some 110, some regular old 110 wire. You're going to need a, a, a receptacle. I'll put a link to some. A little LCD screen. And you need this. And you need one of these. And an ammo box. All right, so we got, we're not gonna use the green. I'm gonna use the white and black from our power cord. And we're gonna put them one here and one there. I don't think it matters which order. I think it automatically, I don't know. We're gonna try it. Put one in here and one in there. Doesn't matter which way. Take your ammo can. Put a hole in it with a step bit. Take your knob, first take your knob off your controller. Retrofit it in, put a hole in it in your ammo can with a step bit. Boom. Now pull it out once you know it fits. Wire it up. Cut your other holes, cut your other holes, wire it up. Pew, 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 I'll show you. Trace your LCD screen out and then cut it out. And you could use a Dremel tool, but I couldn't find my bits. So I used a, a knife, good, good and rusty one. Make sure it fits. Put a hole on the back side. Take apart your Whatever this thing's called. Like that.
you go. So, take a piece of 110, wire up your white and your black. I like to take these screws out and put them in these up holes. And that's what I measured here. So now I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna screw them through. I'm gonna put this through the inside and then screw it in. All right, you wanna screw these two wires in up top here like that. All right, so I'm explaining all the wiring now. You got that hooked up. You run those over here to here and here, right? That's your outlet. That's what you're gonna plug your heating element into. Your LCD, you got these two that run to this magnet or whatever that is, this little copper coil. You're gonna wrap that around your your plug that comes through that comes from your wall that goes into there also you're going to run a black wire from here your lcd to there also and then you have the white one from your lcd wrapped around the white one coming from your wall which is this black one coming up through here that's what plugs into the wall so it sounds pretty simple, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it one more time for you because, okay, so we got these two, nothing plugged into them. They're just plugged into here and here. All right. Then you got a white cord and then you got your, your wall plug, you plug into your outlet. That's what powers the whole, whole thing. You got those mixed together going right here. AC input. Then you got your negative from your wall or your black cord from your wall. With a black cord from your LCD plugged in together right here with this thing around the black cord. I'm no electrician. Hope I did it right. If you fuck something up, it's not my fault. <laughs> this is my first time building one of these. But I'm going to try and understand them and learn about them. And I'm going to start building these boxes. Why not? They're really easy to build. Um, they look cool. And we're going to make some liquor with it. So now I'm going to put all this in the box. And that's self-explanatory. And we'll see what's up. Alright, so building this thing was super easy. It was awesome. It's trial and error. You get electrocuted. You're a dummy. <laughs> this is not my fault, neither. Plug this box in. Two good ways to test it. One, if you got wired wrong, it'll kick your breaker off. If you hit a real old house and it catches on fire, it's not my fault. Try this at your own, you know. Don't try this at home, or do completely up to you. I'm not liable for anything you do. You're a grown-up. Best way to test this box though, blow dryer. Plug it in. You could run it with as much power as you want. You could crank it up. Turn the knob. You know it's working right. You look at your little gauge here and tell you how many volts and how many amps you're pushing you're controlling that you're the controller if you don't have a wife um you live with your mom she's got a blow dryer too go steal it put it to the test don't do this a bunch if you over crank it you'll burn that thing up you have one pissed off wife but, uh, or you might have to go to the Dollar General and get you a new one. Either way, it works. That's good to go. Super cheap, super easy. Uh, I, I love building shit like this. See y'all later.